Hello, I'm Robert, fact checker and science blogger, and helping people who are scared of many things. And this is for people who are still scared that something's going to happen on the 21st with this conjunction, and just a reminder of all the things and the and the debunks of them all. So first of all, the Mayans never had an end of world mythology. We do not believe in Mayan gods anyway, and the Mayan 13th Bactun started in 2012. So there we are, they had an origin story but no ending story. And they celebrated every Bactun. It's just a new cycle, like a new day, no battle. And Europeans invented all that. And it started eight years ago. Then four, the universe can't change into five dimensions. It makes no sense. These people don't understand dimensions. That's what a cube would turn into if the universe did become five-dimensional somehow, which doesn't make sense. And you and actually turn that around, that's what you see when you turn your cube around. You see that all wiggling around in different ways that we can't understand because we're three-dimensional creature, creatures. That, that, that makes no sense. And then the um, Bethlehem star is about the birth of Jesus, not Jesus' return. It's only vaguely related to the Bethlehem star anyway. Nobody knows what the real Bethlehem star was planets were separated by the width of two full moons back then and today they're, um, they're going to be almost in line with each other. It's just a fun thing. Three days of darkness are impossible because the sun is fueled for billions of years. The earth keeps slowly spinning, the sun keeps rising and there's nothing can get between us except the moon for a few minutes only. So it's never going to happen. And that's, this is just common sense. The sun can't go out the sun will continue to rise. Now I've given you a link now to a, lab, a webcam. Let's just bring it up. Live webcam. That's live. You can see the waves. Uh, let's pick, fill the screen with it. This is a live view of the sun. And earlier today, and okay, there's a plane going over. Earlier, this, earlier today, you could see the sun rising. It's gone up that way because this is the southern hemisphere. And so it's looking up towards the equator and looking towards the equator the sun rises from the right to left and it's gone out of the path of the field of view anyway it's so cloudy there you can't see it but I saw the sun rise and I took a screenshot of it earlier today so there you can see that's that's the sun rising it was just going out of the screen when I took the screenshot and we, we can and this is about why we can never have three days of darkness then this was all started by Paul Beckley, who is a bullshitting chicken little. He keeps sh shouting that the sky is falling down. He says, are you serious? And he's, he's, and he's just been hit by a naked on his head. This is me. This is kind of parody. This is what he's like. You know, if a naked fell on his head, he'd say the sky is falling down. And he said, we're all going to die. And it's, it's just nonsense. He's just a, a bullshitting chicken little. And he doesn't even believe the things he says. Because... Uh, so he's not even properly scared like Chicken Little, he's just bu bullshitting. So a bullshitting Chicken Little, or Chicken Little Bullshitter, because he's uh, selling $50 tickets for a conference in April. And he wouldn't do that if he really believed he really was scared of the world ending. You don't leisurely arrange a conference in April if that's what he thinks is going to happen. So he obviously doesn't believe his own false prophecies. And then the conjunction is a lovely event to enjoy, not to be scared of. And if you get an opportunity, if you have a clear night on the 21st, do go out and have a look. And you should see um, Jupiter and Saturn in the same field in a small telescope or in binoculars. And if you just look with naked eye, you'll see a bright star and you just know that there's two planets there. And uh, you need to go and look just 45 minutes after uh, sunset. And it, it'll fall, it'll descend too low to be to see um, pretty quickly. So, uh, so get out there and have a look and make sure that you haven't got anything big like a tree in your way. I recommend something like Sky Safari Pro, an app you can look and it sh it'll show the planet superimposed on the live view of what your camera can see. So you can then look at your camera view and then look out and look in exact place in the sky and you might see it and you should see it. And I can absolutely confirm. It'll be pretty obvious anyway if you if you do have a clear view. But this is a way to check that you're looking in the right direction. It'll be where the sun has set, just after the sun sets. 
in the same path of sky as the path of the sun forward to go down. Then somewhere around there you should see Jupiter and Saturn. And that's it. I'll upload this. And oh yes, so I just want to say that if you are someone who often panics about these dates, then even if you can manage to see through it just even a few hours before, that's progress. So if this has got you, you're, you're less panicky, less scared, you've made progress. And then maybe next time you, you'll be able to see that earlier on and then try to learn from this that you've been panicking so much. Nothing's going to happen. And then next time when another one of these false states comes up, maybe you can remember this time and in some way that can help you to be just a little bit less scared, take some of the edge off your fear, at least. And gradually realise that these false prophets, you just, you just can ignore them, more paper tigers. There's nothing to any of them.